Okay, we're moving on to balancing now. Right, We've got them built, trued, tires mounted. Now we're going to balance. Yeah, it's not going to be a very good balance. Too many errors in this balancing job. Flat around here. That's relatively flat. Alright, look out. You're bothering me. You're my way. Seal drag matters on this job. So you have to rock the bearings back and forth because it's all seal drag and stuff. So it looks like that's the bottom. We'll see if it repeats. Looks like it's repeating. That's a good sign. See how the zerk's about where it was? Mm-hmm. So that must be the must be about the bottom area. The weight, you mean gravity is pulling it down? Yeah, gravity is our friend in this case. So let me put some weight over there. How much weight do you got with you? I don't. You're going to use solder. You hold on to that. Never seen this done before. You don't watch very many videos, do you? I don't have a computer. That explains it. Okay, that's the heavy spot. That means this is the light spot, right? Right. How far out is it? About that much. Look at that. Looks like we're about an ounce out. Half ounce. That's three quarters out. The only bag in pulls is three quarters. Right about there. Down one. You had a down one. I know it was over here. Having bearing drag makes it difficult. He doesn't move a three quarter. Mm -hmm. Is it starting to drop a little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need three quarters of an ounce of lead. Where's your lead? So how much is three quarters of an ounce? Don't know. We're going to have to weigh. You don't know how much three quarters of an ounce of lead is? I do not. Why not? You can 
that much. That much. Hard to tell. It's hard to tell. That's what the video is about. I remember when I used to have a workbench over here. Oh, I know. You're falling behind. Stupid 45s. Take up all the time around here. How much is this? Three quarters of an ounce. That's 25 grams. So much is this? Mm, don't know. That wasn't 25 grams, that was only 15. We need 25 grams. That's only 15. So we need how much? 10 more? It'd be hard to wrap that in 10. Twenty-four grams is perfect. Pretty good. Where's it going? Right there where that weight is on there. You mean right where you marked it? Well, you left it on there. Right there. That's the spot. Now for the fun part. I don't know if I can wrap this. It appears to be short. So you do that? Dull it out a little bit. I try to dull it out a little bit. Be better if you had something harder like this. Okay, where's it go? I believe it was that one there. Was this one? I think I'm upside down. How much you want on here? The whole thing. The whole thing? I don't think I got room for the whole thing. We might have to split this up in half. Boy, look at that. Let's start a new fan. If you look at my old bicycle, I did it the same way <laughs> back when I was five years old. You did.
Nice. You gotta do your nipple, you move it up. <clears throat> so this appears about three quarters of an ounce max for one spoke. Why'd you move that? Trying to confuse me? Okay, where's our weight at? In here. Would have never believed it if I hadn't have seen it. Balanced. <laughs> wow. No ugly stick on weights. No more. ugly stick on weights. Look at that, folks. Oh, the other ones. Wow, that's neat. Tatro, you're something else. You know, look at my bicycle. Get some new ideas on how to do stuff. Now you can do that on a bike too, as long as it's you can move the bearings a little bit, but that's hard to do on a bike. So there's ballast and unballast. They look the same? No, they do not. <clears throat> well, it's hard to see the lead. You might pick it up a little bit. But it's hard to see it. Let me do it the other way. Leave it down there. No, I don't. Yeah. I... Let's go grab the other way. this one going to be? This is a high speed one. This is the front. Like my brake there with my finger? This one the Zerg's just off the center. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be right by the stem here. Well, actually, the stem would be down the bottom. Would be... So explain this again now. Gravity's pulling down the heavy part of the wheels at the bottom. These two spokes here we're going to be working on. It's even more than that, it's two ounces. Put the big ones up. Two ounces on there, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do you want to know? Uh, no, well, okay. Do you want to know how gravity works? Oh, I know how gravity works. So that pretty well stays put. Right. So what do you want to know? So it's, it's heavy at the bottom. That's about where it was when it was heavy. Okay, so when you turn it laterally, it still should not move, correct? You could put 10 pounds here and here. And it would stay still. Would make any difference. Gotcha. It would okay. still be heavy on the bottom. Okay. The weight has to go 180 from where it uh, uh, I understand. Okay. So you turn it 90 degrees, you put the weight on it, and that's where it would sit. <clears throat> and so that's how you would figure out where it goes. So these three spokes here we're going to have to use because there's too damn much weight. <clears throat> you know, three quarters of an ounce is what we had on that one. And then that's pretty tall. These are two, so it'd have to be 
a third more higher, we'd be right up into that spot. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We'd be way up into here. So I need to make um, three of them that are um, two ounces total. It's 25 grams to, uh, to an ounce, it looks like, over there. Or I can do it in four. I think three would be fine. So how much weight is that going to be? Well, if you did it in four, it'd be uh, half a... Uh, huh? All right. Well, then. 50 divided by three is what? I can't tell you offhand. What is it? 50 divided by three, one and a half? That's 15. All right. 1.5. Two would be what, 30. 50? 50 Two would be it's 17. Yeah. yeah, okay, 17. Not quite 17 ounces. So this one's 15. So the other two need to be a little bit taller than this one. That's 17. That's a little bit too much. Well, we do need to be higher. Like we need 18. So we need another 17. Or maybe just a tick further. Yeah, I'll make it the same. Oh, little short shorting in a hurry. Be about 49. Nope, there's 50. Close, right there. Okay. So that should be roughly two ounces. So that's how much we got to put on the wheel. Okay. You want me to go put the solder back where it I'm was? Use the path, my thing of solder. All right. You got the imports coming up. No, we're in a communist state of California. We're not allowed to have solder. Isn't that something? Yeah, you know, something awful is going to happen. I'm going to yeah. die now that I touch the this. Some, the communist state of California. But I got gold in my mouth, but that's just fine. Yeah, I know. Even though it's the same thing. It'll kill you just the same thing. Isn't that something? They haven't outlawed gold yet, though. Now, if you want to know how, how close you're going to be with that, you can take this and put it up on here like this. You can take that weight off. And you put all three of these right here. And it'll do the same. And it should do the same thing. I'll do that later. For first, I'm going to put, put a couple of these on here. Equality. First thing we got to do is we got to deburr this because someone put these sharp ass edges on here. I don't know who would do something like that. Look at that. Special deburring tool. Here. I see that. You like that? Not everybody has one of these. Could just smash it flat. Here's a doll enough for you. Yeah. You look like a dull person, is that uh, not Yeah, I'm pretty dull, I've been told that. Yeah, that's not sharp. Lead is very malleable. Now you can do this with copper also if you want. Start a new fad. Copper wire wouldn't bend as easily though as this. That is correct. I said you could do it. I didn't say it was going to be easy. Well, what does copper have? Just molecularly denser, I imagine. No, copper's not as heavy as lead. You can go on a parabolic table or whatever that is, periodic table, periodic table. It'll tell you how much each weight of the molecule is. The atomic chart, I learned about that. I know that lead and, co uh, lead and gold are right next to each other, and they're 95% the same thing. It's only that last 5% that's different. Hmm. That's why I can't get 1500 bucks for an ounce of this shit. Yeah, 1500 bucks for that. That'd be three grand, that's two ounces. Uh, I guess. You believe that shit? Something's overrated. Well, they get a bunch for a gold filling, I can tell you that. Uh, yep. Okay, so we got our long and short. So I'm gonna use my long ones. Pre-make this a little bit right now. What kind of pliers do you call those? Duckbill. 
The only pair I've ever seen was here. Oh, well, they make those. Now getting the started is the hardest thing. Especially if you can't see it. I think they call those flat nose pliers. Dad called them duck bills, so that's what to go with. He would have known stuff like that. Where was his education in the machinist trade? Was he in the military? Nope. Well, someone must have given him some of the height. He was one step lower than 4F, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> I don't know. They were going to sign him up for Korea. He didn't make the cut. He got down to Texas, and they wouldn't take him down there. Was, was that the Army? He was up in Minnesota. I don't know which one would take them, but probably. They said after Grandma goes, then you. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, well, okay. That's how bad it was. After Grandma, after, <laughs> after we take your Grandma, we'll take you. It was pretty bad. Oh, jeez. He couldn't see it two cents in front of him, but I, they, I think they knocked him out for being flat foot or something. I guess you can't have flat feet in the army. Well, they expect you to walk. Is that what it is? <laughs> Damn, that's hard. Hard to get started, but it is. She has loose, so mm -hmm. I don't like loose. Roll it around more over here. And squish it back up on there. Screwdriver. Yeah. It's lead. Should be able to do it by hand. It needs to be flattened out this way. There we go. Much better. Oop. Hold it up wrong. Pull on it. And it fixes itself. Yeah, he got down to Texas and nobody knew what a heater was down there in a the car. Oh, really? He had a heater in his Henry J. Evidently, uh, they didn't understand it. it got cold up north. <laughs> he was out of Minnesota, huh? Yeah, out of him and can't get much colder than that. It's right next to the Canadian border. Did you visit out there much as a kid? Nope. What brought him out to California? Hot rods. He's heading to LA. Didn't quite make it. He got stuck in Texas for a while. Find all about all, all about Texans, so he left. <laughs> yep, that happens. Got it down to National City. Got stuck down there for a lot of years. Worked down at Roar making B-52s. Then he moved on to San Diego. I did get to LA. See that's still light? Mm -hmm. Give me that piece of solder. There it is. To tick light with that, that's okay. The tire will probably wear a little bit. Now I want to see if I'm going to put on this spoke, that spoke, or the, which one of those three. I 
Looks like it's going to be the one right next to it. See, this is dead center, so we're about equally split on these. So I just put it on all three in the same area. Look a little better. So now you know how to do your bicycle. I was going to say, my kids being into bikes, I'll, he'll uh, he'll be amazed at this. You didn't know how to do this on his bicycle? Well, I don't think he's gotten this far yet. Did your daddy teach him anything? Well, I'd never seen this done before, and I've seen wheels with that on there before and always wondered. It's spying on me. I'll bet you there's lots of people that... uh got to start a new fad. Definitely hard to hold on to that thing. Defaced it a little bit there. Fingers are getting tired. Oop. Your wheels all balanced on your bikes, huh? Mm-hmm. Get back up on where it belongs. Yeah, don't be surprised a military bike has this on it. <laughs> they might have those weights too. We used to have zinc plated ones. Let me forget what I did in the military. Just gotta remember you gotta roll that last little bit over, otherwise it pokes you. Nice clean surface. Boy, that is cool. close but hopefully the tire is going to wear more right flat. right this high spot should be right down a little bit it won't be so heavy there you never want to be heavier than you need right being a little light not going to hurt us we're probably maybe a you know it's less than a quarter of an ounce it's okay sure. eventually it's going to work it's all the way around where it was heavy in the bottom again so all you want right. to see where your maximum air is you go 90 degrees to wherever your weights are at. This is where your maximum air will be, is right? Right. Here. So this is where you check to see where your air is at. Right. See, it's not that much. It just it starts moving me, moving the bearings back and forth, but it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Well, we still got a lot of heavy seals and stuff in here. Right, right. Everything. All right. Wow. So. True Arbor comes in handy again. And you can also put the brake drum and all that on here. And, and do that. And that would balance it better, yeah. It's amazing how far them brake drums are out of work. Oh, wow. Out of work. All right, done. So there's your left and your right hub. Wow. You can definitely see it has a lot more along there. But after that tarnishes and gets fairly dark gray, it'll kind of disappear. Look at it, I'm, I'm going to die now. I, got, I have lead poisoning on my finger. Yeah. Terrible. Okay. Pretty cool. All right. Thanks. Man.